Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts. The war against Italy rages on. It's the third, maybe fourth war I've fought against the Italians so far in my campaign. Let's see what happens in October. <clears throat> okay, Germans have 17-inch uh, guns. I just saw it pop up down there. And the Germans don't like me much. I'm blockading the Italians. That's uh, that's great. Okay, one of my smaller task forces. We got three Minxes, one Philomel, a uh, light cruiser, Brisbane class, and two of the um, excuse me, two of the Adelaides. And none of these battleships are that great. These are the aluminum uh, light cruisers. So called because the um, first San Francisco class light cruiser I ran into, or I identified at least, was called the Aluminia or something like that. Something aluminum ish. And these things have basically no armor. So I thought. I thought that's a very fitting name. So yeah, let's go. The plan, hang on, just gonna get all my stuff in order. Well, it pretty much is. Uh, you're going at 30. You can go 30. Where's the Brisbane? There you are. You can just go zoom out. And my uh, three Minx class uh, DDs. Weather is very fine. I thought I told you to slow down to 30. Okay, we've spotted the enemy. Firing at 34.9 kilometers. Even though I spotted the enemy, it's, the game is still running at times 10 speed. Because they are so far away. How you slow down to 25 and get that cruise speed bonus? There we go. Oh, we scored a big hit on something 3k damage from a 16 inch uh, shell. Another 2k. Some, something sank. I think it was probably, uh, probably a DD, maybe? Let's take a look and see what I uh, blew out of the water. No, that's a light cruiser. That's one of the aluminum boats. That's what you get. Making your ships out of uh, aluminum. Aluminium. And Glasgow, you're gonna try and just torp into the mass of enemy ships. Let's 
try and turn a bit more uh, this way. I'm not sure if I... No, I don't think I have all my uh, guns firing on the battleships. What's your range? See if we can get those torpedoes in the water. From the light cruiser. You are inside the torpedo range. Aggro. There we go. And there's the other uh, set of torpedoes. they be needed. Okay, here's the first set. Oh, one of them. Not very effective torpedo fire. But against, like, a single target? Okay. Anyway, the battleship is down. Big, big fan of my Adelaide class uh, battleships. Okay, we have a DD. Can screen my battleships with my own DDs. And the cruiser can also target that guy. Where's the Glasgow going? Torp my DDs. Not easy targets to torp. You guys can smoke up. Torpedoes in the water, it doesn't seem to be. Uh, yeah, no. Uh, it was a waste. Yeah, my BBs are firing at the battlecruiser. Bring my destroyers in to uh, take on the enemy destroyers. Okay, she sank. Yeah, big, yeah, uh, big sixteen inch hits on the enemy battle cruiser. Okay, you sank also. The enemy has done no damage. If 
one of those 16 inch hits, uh, shells hit the DD, it's just gonna disintegrate. Hitting a small target at that range is kind of a kind of a challenge. I'm just going at it with my own DDs. With this kind of rate of fire is a lot more effective. Surrendered due to high casualties. Okay. Did you score a torpedo hit? No, you did not. You did 19,000. With guns only. Wow, okay. 9,000 only guns. 6.4 only with guns. Did you... No, none of your torpedoes hit. You did a little bit. You did a lot. 15% accuracy, 19% accuracy. Like, I... I should probably just build more of these. I think I have my new favorite class of battleships. Kind of expensive though, but... They're like 170 million. So that's... I designed another class of battleship at the same time, the Brazens. That were designed to be, like, affordable. So they have a... Um, yeah, here we are, a Brazen. Okay, they've been upgraded a bit. They cost like 90 million when uh, launched. Now they're at uh, 106. Yeah, let's take them on. Not gonna alter resolve because um, I know how that goes. Generally, a bad idea. Uh, weather is kind of bad. So we have a mix of uh, Brazens and Adelaides. That's okay, they both uh, go at the same, uh, same speed. Hunters, with your 15-inch uh, guns. These are all uh, Philomel class. These are Minxes, why are you just not in the same... Okay, there we go. Well, my evening day buff is, uh, like, heavily reduced. Because of radar. What are you... What are you doing? Have my battleships just move in a uh, move in the line, reduce your speed for accuracy, and I'm gonna directly engage with the uh, hunters and the heavy cruisers. I'm gonna have my um, DD's screen. Do 
battleships can just chill in the back. There you go. With their big guns. Are the enemies running? Spotted. 19 kilometers. Scoring hits already. Battlecruisers already landing uh, those 15 inch shells. <clears throat> the Patriot is in control, firing at 30 kilometers. Almost 10% accuracy. That's, that's a 16 inch hit already. You dare return fire on me? I think the battle cruisers will have done most of the damage in this battle. They had a DD as well. There it is. Ah, it's running. Only, okay, I could have caught it. It's not that fast. W class, more like L class. And in that case, uh, checking the post game stats for damage and stuff wouldn't really have made much a uh, like it, it wouldn't have mattered that much for evaluation because my battleships were far in the back and that means they wouldn't have been able to do much although I did see some of those 16 inch guns land hits all right here's what I want to do Tower. You're gonna go one on one.
tower. Detach. Go full speed. The rest of yous. So you can just hack off. Uh, these are my Trafalgar's. The 16 inch uh, battle cruisers. they proven themselves yet that's a terrible uh, pitch okay I'm gonna have you just come along with your guns switched off. And you can have your guns switched off for now as well. Okay. I'm bringing my battle cruisers in case the enemy is trying to run. seems to be the case. There it is. She's running, but she is slower than I am. Are you not just going full speed? Okay. She's running far away. But I want to get that one on one with my super battleship. Thirty 
five kilometers. Thirty-four. Spotted. Forty-four kilometer range. You should have range. Okay. Gotta handle this with the uh, battle cruisers. At least slow uh, the enemy down. I'm getting like almost 4% chance to hit. Going at full speed in bad weather. Firing at 30 kilometers. This could give me some pretty good uh, deck penetrations at this kind of range. Blocked. Oof! Alright. Okay. I mean, who did that? Urchin. That was one hit. Uh, yeah, like the tower didn't get to do anything again, but yeah, like I'll take it. I was, uh, that was kind of satisfying. Not gonna lie, I did enjoy that. I just hope this... <sighs> I just hope this doesn't mean my entire task force teleported back to Scapa Flow. Another L-Class. I mean, I can, I can take it. My cruisers are faster. This all depends on how much time I need to waste at the start of the match, getting my divisions uh, sorted. that on pause. H-E, H-E. Yeah, you can just keep uh, moving in that direction. Okay. You will all have to reform. Division 6. Because otherwise you're gonna waste Precious time getting ourselves un unfucked basically at the start of the uh, match. Division 3. There we go. Roy 
royalist. You can also zoom up. And person, caster, you can just uh, go away. Uh, weather is decent. I noticed in the previous battle that <clears throat> actually having the RDF, it is useful, even if I have the radar. Because it, it saves me time from for having to look for uh, the radar ping. I just get that uh, green arrow. It's useful in a chase situation. I want to end the battle. I want to reduce the number of um, destroyers in the Italian Navy. And I will do it one at a time if I need to. Closer. There we are. You are far away. It's only a question of time until I catch up. It's probably not... Okay, it's only 20 kilometers. And with this kind of weather, I should be able to spot it. Uh, torpedoes off. Don't want to have any accidents. There we go. They are spotted at 25 kilometers. Having trouble uh, clicking. For some reason it doesn't. Okay. I've had this um, in the map where I'm not able to uh, to click the map to move a uh, battle group. Never had it in battle before. means I'm not able to adjust course. Hmm. 
Oh. So I just need to rely on my ships actually hitting. Yeah, no. I cannot click to uh, to change course. I can play with the rudder though. <clears throat> so if I need to maneuver, I can do that. Should just hit end battle. It's probably gonna take quite a time. Ooh, yeah, no. Now I'm gonna catch up. And my accuracy will be improving. Switch to HE if you have not already done so. Uh, you have some armor more than the aluminum uh, light cruisers. I'm getting partial pens with my HE. Might actually go back to auto. I think this has just enough armor to make 11 inch AP a bit better than HE. Okay, now we're getting the secondaries too. There we go. It's another uh, pen. I mean, like, yeah. I think there's, um, I think most of the battles in this episode are gonna be kind of small. Simply because the Italians don't have that many ships left. And my task forces are being, uh, like, <laughs> teleported back. Are you back here now? Yeah, Rodney, Stour. <sighs> That's one change I I want. Calliope versus R class. Let's do that one. Uh, weather is kind of terrible. I can click again. That's good. I 
I should not have any problems outspotting the enemy. Oh, I only have generation one on these. So, uh, refit the calliopes or design some new ones, because the um, uh, the Brisbane's they're kind of special purpose light cruisers with the torpedoes and stuff. I might need to have a new class that's just purely gun specced, like the. Um, Calliope class. It's your top speed, 30 knots. Not fast enough. What's your torp range? 8.4. guns are doing quite a lot. What kind of armor do you have? Uh, not much. I mean, this is not one of the aluminum uh, boats, but still not that much armor. Yeah, it's gonna sink. might actually do the uh, the last battle too. I think it was a convoy mission starring two of my um, battle cruisers. There we go. Convoy. Two Rodneys. L class and uh, some kind of uh, heavy cruiser. Yeah, it's the one with the mix of 11 and uh, 8 inch guns. Let's go fight. Okay. Already hit. So let's just kill this uh, DD first.
They're trying to launch torpedoes at me. <clears throat> Bad idea. Twelve inch guns might not be that uh, oh she sank already. Might be kind of on the small side uh, for um, the nineteen thirties. But they just work so good. So yeah, I don't think there are any more uh, battles left in uh, in this turn. Come on, I'm clicking. There we go. No damage taken. here okay and let's move my uh, my task forces back to the uh, back to the Mediterranean Patriot, Violet, all the hunters, three Philomels. Minx, Minx, Minx. Only four minxes. Move. Then I want uh, two more Adelaides to join with you guys. And another task force to just link up here to Brazens. Right. This uh, okay, yeah, there. That's the um, dot I was looking for. All the brazens link up. And here we have 
Vestaur, Albion Barham, Ramelis, Trafalgar's. Not the Rodney. Rodney is gonna go somewhere else. Philomel. Philomel. Only two Philomels in, in that port. Let's get the Falmouth and Cleopatra also. And the Brisbane's. That's a lot of ships here. Minx. 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 And Minx. All right. Now the Rodney, we're gonna go here. Fine. Boilers. Advanced battleship funnels. I wanted the oil too. That's what I wanted. Steering gear thing. Naval communications. That's like stuff that's not really in the game yet. Okay. Alright. That's the end of uh, this episode. Goodbye and take care.